This has got to be my all time favorite movement, cat into angry cat. It really allows a lovely opening to the lower back and a lengthening to the whole of the spine. And if you focus your inhalations to the lower back area, you can feel this expressive expansion within the area. So let's come to an all fours position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Find a nice centered spine. Tailbone lengthening away from crown of head and engage as much pelvic floor as you need to support your spine in this position. Remember a little bit of softness in the elbows too. What I'd like you to do on an exhalation is tuck the pubic bone under, strongly draw up through the pelvic floor, allow the spine to ripple into this flex position. The head is the last thing to follow and there's a sense of lengthening the crown of the head towards the floor. Breathing in here. As you breathe out, push the hands forwards to push you backwards just enough to feel an increased stretch to the back. Breathing in here. Aim the breath to the lower back. Then centre the spine, keeping the weight back, crown of the head reaching away from tailbone, and then shift the weight forwards. So you can do that a little quicker if you want to. So you exhale and you lead with the pubic bone curling towards the sternum, the crown of the head reaching towards the floor. The hands push you back, keep the front of the hips open, and breathe into the lower back area. As you breathe out, lengthening through the spine, keeping the weight light on the hands, and then shifting your weight forwards. You can't do that sequence enough. It's pure genius in its simplicity. 